Evening, folks. All right, what are we talking about this week? We're talking about this cricket. All right, this is in what they call a blue crawl color. I have blue crawl and blue mist. Those are two colors that change. The blue mist changes from blue to purple, and this color changes from brown to blue. The more light you give it, the bluer it gets. Okay? Now you take that natural light and roll it in your hand, you can really see the difference change. Do the crappy like it? Yes. I made these probably a month ago. Put them on my boat, and I got thinking about it when I was riding up there. I thought, I want to try those crickets around that brush pile because I think it'd be excellent. And they were. They were great around that brush pile. That was the best bait I used that day. That was, the, that was the easiest bait I used that day to catch fish on. I had no problem catching fish with that bait. So there you go. That tells you a lot. It got cold here this week. This morning it was 28. Yeah. We had rain here uh, uh, Sunday. Tuesday, Monday, what's the day? Tuesday. We had rain here Tuesday. I don't know what day it was, guys. Um, it's the day's Wednesday, and it rained Tuesday. And then it got cold last night at 28 this morning. I know a lot of y'all had snow up north in Chicago and Colorado. That's a dirty word here, snow. Um, and it's supposed to be 25 tonight. Yep, 25. So, but then it's going to warm up, and by Sunday, we'll be back to average. Our average here, I looked on the weather internet, our average here says it's 55 for November is a high, and 40 is the low at night. See, I can handle that. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all ready? But I do appreciate y'all guys. Banana pepper's back in stock. Uh, right now, I think everything's in stock except for some of the stingers. Some of the stingers, as they sell out, I'm not, re I'm not restocking them, okay? We're going to we'll put some new bait shapes in. I've talked about it a couple times. The new colors, I got some new colors I'm working on. Sam's testing them. I think he loaded the video this evening. I think I've seen it up there when I was getting ready to come down here. I haven't watched it yet. He's loading the video. Uh, since I didn't work today, I've been in the shop, guys, all day. And uh, he's testing some of the colors. And Sid is testing them on Grenada. I uh, talked to him. He texted me, I think, yesterday. He's going to fish Grenada uh, some with him. And I think next couple of days or so. And uh, Donnie has some. I think he else had some. I sent Donnie a couple of them to try. And uh, he fishes lower Mississippi, almost Louisiana border area. And he's fishing backwaters, little ponds, what, that type of thing. So that's a good test on him. You know, Grenada is a great place. It's got dirty water. Y'all know it's never clean, is it? Big fish. So that's a good place to test it. If you go test the bait, right? Where some big fish are. And Sid knows how to catch them there. And Donnie's will test some swamp water in the south. I'm fishing pretty clear water. Sam's fishing clear water and some water with some color to it. He's fishing that river some. All right? So there you go. Good test. We'll decide which ones we like. I can tell you already. I got a video I'm probably going to load uh uh, I might load it Friday. If not, I'll load it next Wednesday. I'm watching the weather, guys. If I have, if I get to fish, I load videos on Fridays. Okay, but the weather like this, when it's cold, I would not go out to the day. You couldn't pay me good day. <laughs> the wind was awful today, guys. It was ten to twenty. Yeah, and, and being as cool as it was, water was chopping. I crossed the lake today. I had to go up to the Bracy, and man, she was white capping. Yeah, you. you I don't go when it's, I don't, if it winds over 10 miles, now 8 or 10, I don't go. Y'all know how that is. That's awful for fishing in it. All right. Well, let's go. Enough for that. Let's go. Y'all like me. I live here on the lake. I'm going to pick better days. I'm not going to fish a nasty day. 308. But what I'm saying is when the weather's like this, and like, I don't get to fish as much. I don't get to make as many videos. All right. I don't know what the number was last week. I'm on a new piece of paper. I can say it very some. We ain't had a load number for a long time. It was 372. 382. So we're a little lower this week. You just never know, guys, what that thing's going to give us. Sometimes it'll move two numbers. Sometimes it'll, sometimes it'll go clean back to nothing. All right. 308 is the number. Jeffrey's over. Way under. I don't see a number there. Okay, he said he's been making crickets. Yeah, I don't, you know what, I look around, some of these other bait makers I see online, I don't think I've ever seen anybody else making the crickets. Cricket works great. Yeah, he says it's a great all-around bait. Yeah, it is. And, you know, I sell quite a few, 
And I can tell you some of the same people are buying them over and over. That and the bug. That little bug will flat out catch them. Yep. That's what, this, this, this what Randy said. Yeah, I had my best luck the last couple of weeks with the cricket and the bug. Yeah, Randy, tell people about it. I don't sell a bunch of them. And it's a great bait, that little bug, with his flat catcher on it. You put that little bug on in, in multiple colors, it doesn't matter. If you go with the natural colors, wipeout, brim, right? Uh, earth, the natural browns, or even uh, motor oil works good. It doesn't matter if somebody's blues. And you get it around some brush or stuff like that, I reckon they think it's a little tiny crawfish or something. They will nail it, won't they? You know, bass love crawfish. I reckon crappy do too. All right, we haven't got anybody close yet. Yeah, it's just, oh, there you go. It's close as one, James. Uh, 288. It's just a matter of getting them in your hands. Right now, I don't have any extra ones. Today, I said I was going to make some extra baits, and I didn't get to it. Guys, I just came in. I was from the shop. I was going to make some extra bugs and crickets and some maybe some flash color, just simple colors and LC shad stuff. I got getting low on base to give y'all. When you, when you place an order, I'm getting low on base to give you. Uh, he's way under. 288 right now. Uh, okay, 280, wow, 250, all right, no no problem there, all right, 288, 325 is over because the number is 308, way under, 245, 331, he's way over, the number is 308, that is 33, did I say 308, I think I did. That is 33. <laughs> I think I said 308. The number is 308. All right, that's 33. I think I, I think I thought it was 333 or something. I don't know. This is the way I see it. I got to get up to where it's a bit easier for me to see. 66, 266. All right, these are 298. Well, there it is. Wow, James. All right, I don't know if you ever won. If it has been a long time, man. You've done it tonight. All right, now what I'll do, guys, I'll go back through this and make sure I'm right. And I'll, I'll, I'm going to make a comment to James. Hey, you won. And he's going to email me his address. Instead of me trying to find it and look around on my site trying to find it, he's going to email it to me. That'll save me a big headache, see? The amount me looking for it. And uh, if he gets it to me, I'll comment to him tonight, here in a little bit. If he gets it to me tonight or or by the latest Friday morning, I'll try to mail that to you Friday or Saturday morning. If not, it'll be Monday or Tuesday, okay? Because I miss working, like I said, right now, <laughs> I'm working pretty close to the house. Just got a little job I'm tinkering on. So, still working just a little bit here and there, guys. Uh, I'm limited on how much money I can make when you're on Social Security until you're 67. A lot of people ask me that. That's why I mentioned that. A lot of people say, well, you can make... All you want, you can't make all the money you want till you're 67. If you make it, if you make too much, they deduct your your Social Security. Why do that? Why draw Social Security and then have it deducted, right? So I'm trying to use it as a second income to Social Security, so I don't have to work all the time. Kind of semi retired is what I'm trying to do. All right. Uh, as I said at the beginning, I got the, most of the baits are in stock right now. I just restocked banana, pepper. Uh, I just got it back be stocked up high. I think it's like 20 bags there. It's been selling a lot of. So check that out. Okay? Appreciate y'all guys. Appreciate your orders. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you being part of Fishing Lake Country. Uh, since I gave you a video yesterday uh, on the candy corn, you will not get one. You didn't get one today, did you? And I was going to say, where's your Wednesday video? You got it on Tuesday. You got the Wednesday video on Tuesday, and I done that because I, I think it kind of fit in with Halloween with the candy corn. All right, so and yes, that was <laughs> that was a very difficult bait to make. It took you got to shoot it three times. That was not fun, but uh, the fish liked it. The cricket worked good, and uh, the wipeout pearl tail uh, punk, pumpkin pie with it was like a pumpkin pie with whipped cream on it, didn't it? Something with the uh, willow tail work good. Kind of some fall colors I made and was playing with. All right. Y'all made some comments on it. Thank you for that. All right, guys. Appreciate you. Hey, we'll see y'all next week.